We are the dollars and cents. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a sort of a comparison video and um, I got a qu pretty quick turnaround on this fragrance. I actually ordered it, I think on Monday uh, or maybe Saturday, but I got it today and I think today is Tuesday. Now I will say there is quite a few differences in the notes here, so not really sure what uh, what to really say about that because um, the f the original fragrance is pretty well known for having some pretty um, it's a very uh, small list of notes as opposed to the um, I guess the clone maybe and the only reason why I'm saying this one's a clone is because well because one the people um, said it was two this house is known for making clone fragrances and three. Um, it, the bottle looks just like the, well, not just like, but you can tell, you can, you can see the similarities between the bottles of the original versus, um, this, um, clone, I guess. But, um, without further ado, it is Kamra from the house of Latafa. I did get this in the mail today, so I was really looking forward to trying this one. And I do have the original. It is supposed to be, I think, anyway, a clone of Angel Share from, uh, Killian. So, and I will spray both on my hands. Um, but looking forward to trying this. Let me give you a little bit of information about this about this fragrance. Um, it is considered an aromatic spicy, released in 2022. It is from the house of Latafa. Again, it's, it's called Camera, Camera. Um, but apart from concentration, don't know the nose. Uh, the notes for this fragrance in the top, we have cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. Uh, in the mid, we have dates, praline, tuberose, and mahonial, which I think is like a um, some sort of a floral like a synthetic floral maybe um and in the base we have vanilla tonka bean myrrh amber wood akigala wood and benzoin and i will get to um the angel share notes here shortly all right so here's the box for camera um camera however you guys want to pronounce it you guys can uh, correct me in the comments but uh yeah this is from the house of latafa i believe they made an oud for glory uh, or oud for greatness whatever it's called they made a clone of that one um, and th that was a decent clone, so who knows? I I'm gonna guess this one might be good. Uh, we'll see, uh, just based off of that one. Um, but yeah, so here's the box. Now, I did take the bottle out so you guys wouldn't get a sneak preview of that, but <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Uh, when I open this box, it's very, very thick, heavy box. We do have the uh, Latafa hologram here in the back, but look at this. When I, when I take it, take it off here, look at this little thing here. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a mirror, and the bottle came in there. I'm like, this is, this is, uh, that's quite, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. I've never seen that before. You guys can probably see all the stuff in my apartment, the reflection there. But yeah, and, and the bottle sits nestled in there. Uh, does have, it's like cardboard, I think, on the back. But that's, that's, that's a lot. And that's a very big top here. Um, the inside looks a little, a little crushed. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but that's fine. It's on the inside. Can't really see anything. So that is the box. And I will say that is a pretty sturdy looking box. It does have, I guess, a batch number here on the back. And some information on the bottom. Now we'll go to the bottle. Now, you, now you guys are going to see why it's um, people are calling this an angel share clone, and they do share a couple of um, notes. But here is the bottle. Look at this thing, and I will go ahead and get the bottle for um, the angel share. And and you can see, you can immediately see the uh, <laughs> the similarities in here. I mean, look, they have the little the little cutouts. I guess it's supposed to look like a whisk. This one's supposed to look like a whiskey glass. I'm guessing they make square whiskey glasses. I don't know. Uh, but you can definitely see the resemblance here. They have the gold labels. Um, the the tops there. Bottoms. But yeah, let's let's go back to the um, the, the camera. Camera. Um, yeah, very heavy. I mean, it's, it's, it's glass. Um, the top is going to be plastic. Very heavy. Very sturdy. Look how thick that is. That's super heavy, sturdy plastic. It does say Latafa, I believe, on top. Yeah. Um... Let's see if this unscrews like the, no, it does not unscrew, but uh, there is the bottle. So yeah, guys, um, I will go ahead and, and let you guys know uh, know the um, the um, notes for Angel Share. Uh, in the top, it's cognac, in the mid, cinnamon, tonka bean, and oak, um, and in the base, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. So they do share the cinnamon, I believe. They share the tonka bean. They share the oak i think uh, amberwood in in the um, in this one this one has oak i believe they share the praline um the vanilla and i believe that's it yes 
Um, so they do have similar compositions. I will give it that. Um, but this is, I think it should be pretty easy to tell the, the, the differences in this one. Some people were saying in the comments that, you know, I, I tried not to read too much about, about this one here, the, the, the camera, because I didn't want to be too, um, too suede. Let's go ahead and take a couple sprays of this fragrance. Here we go. Clean hand. I will just wear this fragrance tonight. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some similarities here but it's not exact. I would say I'm getting the praline in this. I am getting, hmm, so there's bergamot in this. So I'm getting a bit of a citrusy feel. So it's definitely more citrusy. There's no um, citrus notes in the angel chair. Now this does smell really nice, but right now, it's definitely, uh, I can see similarities, but I'm not getting, this is definitely fruitier. I'm getting the bergamot. I'm actually getting the dates in this because the dates, if you guys have tried, there's, there was a fragrance that I got from um, House of Oud, I believe. It was called Dates Delight. Um, and I can definitely get the same sort of dates, uh, the date note in this. And I think dates are almost like a, um, is it prunes? I think it's, it might be like a dehydrated prune, almost how raisins are to grapes. So I'm definitely getting a lot of that date. At least that's what I think it is. And some of the, and the praline, the citrus notes, the cinnamon's nice and spicy. It's sweet from the vanilla. It's woody from the amber wood. This does remind me of another mainstream fragrance that came out uh, not that long ago. And honestly, I will say it does remind me a bit of that date's delight. I'll, I will go have to look at those notes. Um, that one was a bit stickier. Uh, they're more of like a resinous date date type of fruit this isn't bad i will say this is way more gourmandier than angel share um i'm not getting well obviously there's no there's no um cognac in this i'm really not getting the boozy note but i will say it does keep that sort of angel share sweetness and it has a little bit of that DNA where it has like the, the praline note and the sweetness and a little bit of the woodiness in there. Um, this is way more gourmandy, I think, right now. I will say this is a very, this is a pleasant fragrance. Um, is it a decent, um, I guess, take on this one? It's okay. It's not bad, honestly. It, like I said, it does remind me of another fragrance that I've tried before. I just can't put my finger on it, but it's very gourmandy. It's very syrupy sweet. It's very woody, very masculine. It almost smells like a mainstream fragrance, like maybe uh, like one of the one of the one millions that came out recently, or just another one of these mainstream, very sweet fragrances that has that has come out recently. And I'm pretty sure someone in Pergranica already put it on there. I just haven't looked. So I'm in the second half of the video, which is gonna be very short and sweet because I'm already at 10 minutes. I will probably uh, let you guys know what it is, but I'm going to give just give the Angel Share a quick spray on my hand here, get it, and just get a quick feel for it. Yeah, this one is definitely sharper. I'm getting the boozy note, the cognac. This one's definitely more boozy. I don't know why they left the the booziness out of this one. Um, maybe they're just trying to go in their own direction or, or maybe they just thought, Hey, we'll sort of take off. This is our interpretation of angel share, but we're going to make it more gourmandy. This one is sharper or I'm sorry. The angel share is sharper. And honestly, it, 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 in comparison, it lays a little flat. Now it's only, uh, was it seven notes? So I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying it's, you can get the notes that you're reading here. This one, honestly, the camera just seems a lot fuller. It seems like there's more going on with it. It's probably because there's a ton more, there's a ton more uh, notes here. There even some tuberose and some other floral notes in there. Yeah, this one's just sharper and and straight to the point. Sharp, boozy, sweet, and woody. And this one's more almost bubblegummy, almost cotton candy sweet, syrupy sweet. It's good. Now, this fragrance does cost um, $54.11. I got that from eBay. No one's faking these, at least not to my knowledge. 
uh, and it was shipped from overseas. So 5411, and I got it like in four or five days, which that's pretty good. Um, and the Angel Share retails for uh, 210 retail, but I'm getting it um, 175, 190 in the groups. Um, so you're definitely gonna be saving a lot of money if you go with the camera, but you're gonna notice a difference. I will say this is not a bad fragrance on its own. This is definitely a, a nice fragrance for what you're paying. Um, does it have similarities right now? Yes, to Killian. Um, again, if I do a, an update on this, because I'm already pushing 15 minutes, I'm, it's going to be very, very quick. I, I said that a second ago, but it's going to be very, very quick. Um, and I, I guess I'll just let you guys know if it's worth the purchase or not, if it's worth the 54 bucks. And I'll let you know, uh, just let you know how it goes, let you know the, um, the performance if I can without taking up too much more of your time, guys. But I will wear this fragrance tonight over the next few days and give you guys an update shortly. Hopefully, hopefully we have good news and a decent alternative to Angel Share. But we'll see. And I'll talk to you guys soon. What's up, you guys? Just want to bring you guys a quick update on the camera or camera, however you guys want to pronounce it, from the house of Latafa Perfumes. Um, again, I always say this and sometimes I go over, but I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible because the first half of the video went pretty, pretty, um, long. So I'm going to get to the, uh, nitty gritty of this fragrance. Does it smell like angels share? Um, not enough for me to say that it's going to be a good clone of it. I get hints of it. Yes. But overall, I'm going to say that Camera Camera is its own fragrance. Um, now, this did remind me of a few other fragrances, though, which I think you guys might be pleasantly surprised with if you guys were fans of this fragrance, uh, of the, these fragrances that I'm going to mention this reminded me of. Just think of a combination between Armani's Stronger With You, um, Oajan from Parfums de Marley, uh, House of Oud's Dates Delight, and a slight bit of Angel Share. Um, overall, this is not going to be a clone of Angel Share, uh, in my opinion. This fragrance, um, obviously, they're trying to. You could tell with the, um, the the two different presentations, how they look. Completely, uh, they just you can tell they're trying to go for that look. But overall, this fragrance could be in a completely different bottle. This fragrance could be its own fragrance in its own bottle in its own. Um, like if some other house put this fragrance out, it would be popular. Um, and I don't think anyone, they, they, they might compare it to Angel Share, but not that much. Um, this fragrance is very sweet. Like I mentioned, the Stronger With You and the Dates Delight are really the main two fragrances I get with this fragrance. It just has a bit of the sharpness that Angel Share brings to the table. And it has a little bit of the Ojean, uh, Ambra Nargulie DNA in this. This is a nice fragrance. This is a, a really nice fragrance, especially for what I paid for this fragrance. Uh, $54 on eBay. Again, no one's faking this one. You guys can buy it wherever you want. I want to say that Fragrance Buy, uh, which is a Canadian store, sells this fragrance as well. So you guys can just find find a dealer that you guys trust. But I think this fragrance is fantastic. Longevity for this fragrance, fantastic. 10 plus hours with this fragrance. Projection for this fragrance, fantastic. Beast mode. This fragrance is beast mode. I don't say that very often. Um, this fragrance is just, it kept going and going and pushing and pushing. I got compliments to work from this one all day. People kept asking me, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I had to tell them, camera. It sounds funny. I told them, I'll explain to you guys later. Just let me get a feel for it first. Um, seasons, if you guys didn't guess already. Colder months of the year. Um, I'll, I'll say fall, winter, early spring. Colder, cooler months of the year is going to be perfect for this one. It was actually really nice. I wore this one uh, to the Rangers game tonight. Uh, we lost, but it's fine. Um, and it was nice and breezy, probably 71, 72 degrees. Uh, nice and cool out. This was did okay. Occasions, evening events. Wherever you would wear the fragrances that I mentioned before, which is mostly evening events. Uh, date night. I think the ladies are going to love this fragrance. Um, date night, uh, evening out, suit and tie. Definitely the club. You're going to get noticed with this fragrance. It's very, very strong. Very, very sweet. Mainstream, mixed with a slight bit of niche. Nice fragrance. Very gourmandy, very sweet. Uh, you will get noticed wearing this fragrance. Ages for the price. I'm going to say 20 and up uh, along with this fragrance. This fragrance is not too niche, not too in your face. I think it's very safe. Yes, there's aspects of niche in here. But again, the Armani Stronger With You was a mainstream release that was very popular among the uh, amongst the younger crowd. I think the guy, if you guys can find this one for like 55, 60 bucks, 
I think you can easily afford this one at 20 years old. I think you can easily pull it off. You guys are going to like this one. I think it's great for that. Overall, I think you can probably classify this one as a cheap but good fragrance um, for this price. Probably going to be a lot lower, honestly, guys. That uh, Oud for Glory or Oud for Greatness, whatever it's called, um, the Latafa fragrance is like 35 bucks now. That's a pretty good fragrance. This one, I think, is light years beyond that one. This one, um, I think I failed to mention this, it's considered uh, unisex. It leans more masculine, in my opinion. Stronger with you, Days to Light. I think Days to Light might have been a unisex fragrance, but Stronger with you was a predominantly male, or I think it was a men's fragrance. So I'm going to say this leans more masculine. Um, so just letting you guys know that um, quickly. Um, I think this could be considered a cheap but good fragrance. If not, I think it's worth a try. I think it's worth a blind buy. I think it is different enough from Angel Share that you're going to want to try this one. Now, if you didn't like Stronger With You, if you didn't like Ojan, if you didn't like Dates to Light from House of Oud, if you didn't like a little bit of Angel Share, um, you're not going to like this fragrance. Um, my favorite part was the dry down. I got this nice coconut cookie type of thing. If you guys, um, I'm a little bit older than some of you guys out there, but they did sell some cookies. I believe it was the late 80s, 90s. Uh, these coconut cookies, I'll put them here. It, it just re really reminded me of those. Uh, not really sure where that came from. Not sure if it was the just this, the vanilla with maybe some of the woody notes, but something in this gave it a nice coconut sort of cookie vibe. So it's very gourmandy and woody and sweet. Fantastic fragrance. Super strong, guys. I think you guys should try this one. I think if you like the fragrances that I mentioned, but maybe you just haven't um, tried them in a while or maybe you sold your bottles but wanted to come back to something that was stronger, this is going to be your best bet, guys. Uh, I, I haven't watched any of the reviews on this one. I strictly went off of a uh, post on Facebook, which is normally what I do. If someone says, this is fantastic, I will look a little bit more into it, and then I'll just go ahead and buy it if it's a decent price. If it's too expensive, I won't pull the trigger. But, guys, I think you won't be disappointed with this fragrance. The performance is there. The smell is there. I think it's a combination of all those. If you like those, you're going to like this one. If you own those, you're probably not going to want to buy this one because it's going to remind you too much of those. But winter is coming. This will be a fantastic fragrance in the winter. Um, this is going to be my recommendation for, for winter, guys. If you guys want a, a in, inexpensive, <clears throat> sweet, woody, uh, strong, very strong fragrance that slightly resembles Angel Share, but also resembles the other fragrances that I mentioned, you're going to want to try Camera from the House of Latafa, guys. What are your thoughts on Camera from the House of Latafa? Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you guys think about this one. Am I crazy for thinking this one's good? Um, I'm, again, I haven't watched any reviews. I've, I've been doing these videos for so long. I don't watch other video reviews anymore. I just sort of do my own thing. I'll, I'll take recommendations here and there, but other than that, uh, that's about it. So if there's people out there hyping this one up, I have no idea. Anyway. This is a decent fragrance. Um, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video on my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impression videos and first study content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first study photos and future contest winners, guys. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care.